questions the first and the particles are spread throughout the solution uniformly understood so it seems a uniform solution but it is a heterogeneous mixture so the first point related to the colored solution is a heterogeneous mixture it is heterogeneous mixture this is the first point related to colored The particle size is ranging from particle size ranging from one nanometer, one nanometer to hundred nanometer. Okay, and solid particles, particle size in the solution is less than one nanometer. While suspension, suspension particles are more than. 
aluminium. Third column will be Example is a milk, right? Whenever I 
ranging from 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer. Okay, and these particles, uh, sorry, the particles are of two types in the collateral solution that are dispersion medium and dispersed phase. Dispersion medium is in a greater uh, proportion and dispersed phase in a lesser proportion. Okay, so collateral solution is composed of two types of components. Uh, gas, gas type of collateral solution is not possible because it will form a homogeneous mixture. So, collateral solutions are always of 8 types, not of non, uh, 9 types like a, a solution. So, here I have explained you few points. The same table is given in your textbook too. If you have doubt, you can ask me in my PS period. Okay students? Now, we will go for the next topic of this collateral solution that is Properties of collateral solution. Collateral solution resembles some different different kind of properties which are also quite interesting to know. So I will explain you the properties of collateral solution. So students, we are going to talk about some properties, important properties of a collateral solution. The first property of a collateral solution is collateral solution is a heterogeneous mixture. It is heterogeneous mixture. The particle size ranges from 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer and so that the particles of a collateral solution or the dispersed phase into the collateral solution cannot be seen by the naked eyes, cannot be seen by naked eyes. If we want to see this dispersed phase in a collateral solution, we have to observe or watch this dispersed phase under the microscope. Microscope, microscope we have to use to see the uh, particles uh, of collateral solution that is dispersed phase into the collateral solution. So this is the second property. Now third property of the collateral solution is, this is very important property. If we try to pass the beam of light through collateral solution, then the path will be visible for us. Then the path will be visible for us. Why the path will be visible for us? Because I said you, this dispersed phase means the size of the particle is not too small, too small to be not seen by the naked eyes. It's not too large that can block the light rays so that these particles are ranging between 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer. And so that these particles can scatter a beam of light. These particles, whenever the ray of light or a beam of light falls on it, because of the smaller size of particles, these particles can be easily seen. Okay, when we pass a beam of light, the path is making visible for us. Understood? So, example, I will give you. Here I said you, milk is a type of a collateral solution, this is milk student and this is starch, starch is also one kind of collateral solution. So, I have solution over here and this is the battery. Now, I will try to pass the beam of light. See, the path is not visible here into the beam of light. The path of light is not visible. Means we cannot see the sunlight, sorry, uh, we cannot see this beam of light into the solution. Okay, because it is solution, the size of the particle is too small, right? So that these particles uh, will never scatter a beam of light. Now, this is the example. This is star solution. This star solution, uh, if it undisturbed for some time, it will not settle down because it is a type of the current solution. So if I will do it, you can see the path is visible. You can see students, the path is visible here. Why the path is seen? Now you cannot see. But the path is visible because of the size of the particle. This is star solution. Star solution is also the example of a collateral solution. Now I will go for the mill. This is mill. You can see, you can clearly see the particles can be seen means the path is visible okay because the particles scatter a beam of 
of light v of which particles now dispersed phase particles scatter beam of light through solution Each other and 
negative or positive as in this solution we only one kind of charges will be there so that particles will go apart and it will move throughout the solution and it will move in the zigzag manner these particles dispersed phase or these particles will move into this solution in a zigzag manner so the movement of particles in a zigzag manner is called as a brownian And this Brownian movement is discovered by Robert Brown. It was a English scientist, and it is discovered by him, Robert Brown. And so that he has given the name Brownian movement. Okay. So the particles in the of the final solution dispersed phase is always moving in a zigzag manner. This is also one important property of the collider solution. Okay. Now we will talk about the most important property which we see. Every time around us, that is Indol effect. What is meant by Indol effect? Indol effect. This Indol effect. Just now I gave an example. So what happens here? Scattering a beam of light. A beam of light. Dispersed phase particles to dispersed phase particles into the collider solution into the collider solution is called Tyndall effect. And this Tyndall effect is also observed which first recognized by the scientist Tyndall and so that he has given the uh, name is a Tyndall effect. Okay, this Tyndall effect is only seen by the 